it's really that whole vision of the urban water cycle and, and the water cycle in general. I think that's quite fascinating. I, I, don't, I can't think of many places where you can find people working in the full water cycle in the same building. Um, Associate Professor Frederick Lusch, um, uh, Program Leader for Water Quality and Diagnostics here at the Smart Water Research Centre and uh, Australian Rivers Institute. Well, there's two different applications really of the research that we do. One is we look at the effects of contaminants on the natural system. So these are fish, all the other living organisms in rivers and streams. And the other one is humans. And, and when we apply it to humans, we go more towards biotechnology. And this is more lab-based research. So we look at the impact of different contaminants on aquatic organisms or, or humans drinking the water. And we look at different types of pollutants like pharmaceuticals, personal care products, metals, uh, pesticides, herbicides, all of these compounds that through normal human activity we discharge into the environment and that can potentially negatively impact that environment. So uh, an example of the type of research that we do here at the center is we focus on a type of contaminant called endocrine disruptors. These are chemicals that can mimic your natural hormones and of course once you start interfering with natural hormones you completely interfere with behavior, growth, development, etc. And so when we try to uh, establish which technology, which removal techniques that can most efficiently remove these chemicals from the environment or from the water that we are exposed to as humans. Now that research is becoming very important in water recycling. So where there was a lot of push in Brisbane about seven years ago to look at water recycling and reusing water as a potential alternative for drinking water, uh, we didn't really know what type of contaminants we had in that water. There was a lot of work to be done. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to an era, a time with uh, climate change with less reliable water sources uh, and increasing population. So we've got these water scarcity issues that are really looming now and how do we maintain the lifestyle that we have in a more sustainable manner with dwindling water supplies and, and it's starting to look really at other alternative water sources. So it's, it's, it's really exciting in that angle. What I really enjoy about the research that we do here at the Australian Rivers Institute is, is the research that we do on uh, animal alternatives to toxicity testing. So this, it's, it's always been a fairly important to my heart to uh, try to move our toxicity testing away from experiments on animals, on whole animals, towards more ethical alternatives. And, and the research that we do using human, human cells or animal cells is really pushing towards that direction. And, and to me, it's, it's very close to me. I, I, I really like that, that direction of research. Can we now conclusively extrapolate from an effect at the cell level to an effect at the whole organism level? That's the holy grail of the research that I do. We're not there yet, but we've gotten some really great steps forward in the past decade, and we're getting tantalizingly close. That, that is really quite an exciting time.